Donald Trump's problems with reality have become so bad that even the people who served with him in his past administration are now having to admit that Donald Trump can no longer tell the difference between reality and the fantasy that he has created for himself to make himself feel better. Now, a couple days ago on CNN with host Caitlin Collins, former Trump national security advisor, John Bolton made these comments. Um, and let's remember Bolton and Trump do not get along. Bolton no longer likes Trump and he is an absolute horrific warmongerer who I do not agree with on anything other than what I'm about to read to you. Now to set this up, Caitlin Collins was talking to Bolton about Donald Trump's Thursday press conference where Trump claimed falsely that, uh, he never encouraged people to say, lock her up when he was running for president against Hillary Clinton in 2016, Trump said that he told people to calm down, to relax. And then after he said that and Collins aired that clip, she then of course aired a clip of Trump saying, quote, folks, honestly, she's guilty as hell. I think she should be in jail. She should be locked up. So, you know, kind of pointing out, look, look at him lie here. And that's when she went to John Bolton and Bolton said, quote, Trump can't tell the difference between what's true and what's false. It's not that he lies a lot because you know, to, to lie, you have to do it consciously. He just can't tell the difference. So he makes up what he wants to say at any given time. If it happens to comport with what everybody else sees, well, that's fine. And if it doesn't comport with anybody else, he doesn't really care. And he's had decades of getting away with it. So in his mind, the truth is whatever he wants it to be. And that's what you heard today. Yeah. He said of all the things John Bolton has ever said in his life, he has never said anything as true as what he just said. I mean, it's almost like a quote from me at that point, because I've been talking for years about how Donald Trump lives in this alternative reality and anything from reality, reality that doesn't fit in with whatever narrative he's selling doesn't make it through the bubble. And he can create whatever he wants in this bubble, which he did during that press conference. But this goes deeper than just the press conference. This is how Trump has been behaving as Bolton correctly points out his entire life. When something doesn't work for him, he creates a new reality in which it does work for him, right? Look at the criminal indictments he gets indicted. It's very obvious in a lot of these cases that, yeah, you did the thing you're indicted for doing, but he says, Nope, selective prosecution. This person's a Democrat. This one's a Democrat. Oh, it's connected to the DOJ. They're all out to get me. They want to get you, but I'm standing in the way he tells us, which of course is an alternative reality. Reality reality tells us, Hey, this guy is corrupt as hell. He's been doing shady things for decades now, and it's finally catching up to him because he chose to put himself in an even brighter public spotlight by becoming president. But reality doesn't match what Donald Trump wants it to be. So he downplays everything. He lies about things. He creates these alternative scenarios, and then he sells them to his supporters and to the media. And the media does not do a good enough job of pushing back on it. They're getting kind of better in the last week, but they're still not good at it. Letting him go through that first debate with president Biden without live fact checking him was a huge blunder by the media. Not okay. And they cannot continue to do this. That's why of course, Lawrence O'Donnell on MSNBC, uh, attacked his own network for airing the entirety of Trump's Q and a, it was nothing but a nonstop lie fest. It was nothing but Trump presenting us with his alternative reality. So Lawrence O'Donnell attacks his own network for it. Rightfully. So the media has to get better because Trump creating his own reality for him to live in is one thing that's fine. I mean, it's definitely a sign of mental issues, but for him, it's fine. But he is pulling in millions of average Americans to this MAGA cult living in an alternative reality who now believe his fake claims are the real reality. That's the danger. 
If it were just one lonely man sitting on a golf course, making things up to make himself feel better, no harm in that. But once they start to gather a following based on all these false beliefs, that ladies and gentlemen is a cult, a cult being led by someone as they usually are, who's not quite all there up here. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.